guys welcome to a new video on today's video we'll be doing another shopping haul and I figured you guys might like what I got this time because it's a different mix of baby clothes um, gifts from my in-laws as well as some um, body care products so without further ado let's get started all right so let's start off with lush la, 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 lush it's one of my favorite stores you guys like the smell of lush is just phenomenal so I'm going to bring out everything I got from Lush. Look at the bag. Isn't it pretty? It's got all these cute, like, I guess, animal testing uh, prints inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lush is a very uh, special store for me because um, the first time I experienced Lush was when I was in Japan, when I was visiting my aunt there. and. I just clearly remember the first time I walked into the store, you know, it was it was the definition of an experiential brick and mortar experience because oh God, the smell, the product display, the service, and the fact that you could try out the products on hand right away within the sink, right? Um, it was just this like new burst of fresh air to me. It was so interesting. It was so captivating. I was just at awe at my first Lush experience. So since then, I completely fell in love with Lush and every time I would pass by a Lush store, I would just go in there to see the bath bombs, right? Even if I'm not purchasing anything, I would go in there just to experience the beauty of the store. So if you guys have never been to a Lush store, definitely um, go in and hopefully you guys will get the same experience as I did. Um, even if you're not into bath bombs or you know body care, just go in there for the experience, right? Okay, so this time when I went to Lush, I had some hair problems because um, I was using Pantene at the moment, just a very basic one, and I was getting some dandruff um, and it was getting pretty oily in my scalp. So I wanted to get some hair care um, kind of fighting against it. So the sales assistant suggested that I get this big uh, shampoo. It's called Big. The shampoo is called Big. All right, so let's open this up. Mm. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna spill over. <laughs> Basically, it's made out of sea salt, and I believe sea salt is supposed to deliver this like long-lasting volume. And the salt itself immediately dissolves when it touches water, obviously. So there's not, there's no residue of the salt. But overall, it smells super refreshing it's kind of like the hydro beauty um chanel line that i showed in my last shopping haul video i really like sea smell i think i really like smells that are refreshing that are clean refreshing citrusy anything that's like clean and refreshing but also with the hint of like sea salt or um, citrusy notes that's my go-to smell so i've been using this and so far like i've just i just took a shower and my hair is not dry yet but I used the big shampoo so I can already feel it because as you guys can see my hair is already drying up with the volume so I've been using it for the past week and it really gives the volume but I wouldn't necessarily use it every day I think it would be best suitable for like maybe two or three times a week or just use it before on a special occasion where you actually need the volume in your hair and you're gonna do your hair and all sorts so I think it would actually uh, work best as a hair prep whenever you're going to an occasion so yeah my hair is drying up with lots of volume and I really like this so for the shampoo I got the big but for the conditioner I got the retreat conditioner so the description says it all it's like when you've been living life in the fast lane organic avocado and softening yogurt give your hair a thorough MOT I'm not sure what MOT stands for but it is a conditioner with uh, yogurt and avocado so that's what I love about Lush, you know, it's made out of ingredients and it's made with and it and like you can see like who made it like so this guy called Den made this product on November 29th of 2022 and it's going to expire within a year, right? So everything is so fresh and it's so organic that like it's just super food on your skin and your body. Yep. So as you guys can see, I've been using it for about a week now and I love, I love this. 
I can literally feel the yogurt melting on my hair and the avocado like really giving it a soft soft touch all right so next up i got some body care so body for the body care i got the ocean salt face and body scrub in a small dose like i didn't want the big box for this because i'm not really good uh, with scrubs i don't scrub that often and um, i just wanted to see if i like it or not and for the body lotion i got the one called pansy i got the one called pansy so let's see the body scrub this ocean salt body scrub is uh Swashbuckling super softening exfoliator is really worth its salt. Oh yeah. Oh, look at the color. Look at the color, guys. It's got this pastel green and uh, minty Tiffany blue color. It's like a swirl inside. And it's really soft. I used it and I used it for about a week now. And um, it, the, the salt really just melts on your skin. skin and the salt kind of works as the exfoliator, as the organic exfoliator, and it's really not that harsh on your skin because it just melts and softens. It because it just melts away really quickly. So yeah, I got this, and for the body lotion, I got the uh, Pansy. Let's open it up. It's got a similar texture to the conditioner, but what I love about this body lotion was actually its um, smell. So the smell is described by sweeping citrus notes of mandarin, bergamot, and orange flower, absolute combine uh, in this uplifting and reassuring lotion. So it just has this like orangey but also like citrusy mandarin but also very soft bergamot notes. So yeah, this one is really good. I've been using it for a week for all these products and I love the body lotion the best because um, I, whenever I apply the lotion, the moisture sticks around for a couple of hours. Whereas some lotions, you know, the skin just absorbs it so quickly and then you're almost back to the dry state again. But for the Pansy, it really locks up the moisture. I took a shower like an hour ago, but I could still feel the moisture on my skin from Pansy. So definitely recommend this one. Okay, and I got like two little cute gifts from them. This is the uh, tingling body conditioner. I use this twice as well. <laughs> it's got this bright blue color. And what you basically do is after you scrub, you just apply this on your body before getting out of the shower. Kind of like a hair conditioner, you use it on your body. And then you let it wash away. And then when you come out, your body is so soft and silky. The moisture is so locked in and prepared for you to apply your body lotion. You don't even have to apply your body lotion if you're in a rush, if you've used the body conditioner. So that's what I like about it. So yeah, that was my Lush purchase. All right, so let's move on to the orange boxes, guys. So this time I got two things from Hermé. And the big box is where I got the famous Oran sandals. I've been wanting to get them for some time, but uh, whenever I wanted to get them, they would be out of my size. So they would be out of stock for my size. So I'd have to wait and it didn't arrive on time. So I was always having these hiccups whenever I tried to purchase them. And this time I was finally able to get my hands on them, which I'm very happy about. So um, I just got the very basic color, which is the uh, brown. So this is size 38 and they don't have half sizes. So 38 was a bit tight for me and then 39 was really loose for me. So I think 38.5 would have been perfect, but they ran out of stock. Actually, they don't carry half sizes. So that was a bit of a bummer. So the sales assistant, um, he recommends that I get the size smaller, which, is, which was 38, as it's very soft leather and it'll basically expand out over time. So I hope that works. Um, I've been wearing it couple of times at home just for it to expand out over here and it so far hasn't hurt my legs or anything it hasn't hurt my feet so that's good yeah how pretty guys I really love these sandals because I think they go with anything you can style it with your casual clothes or even um, something more chic you know it's great for vacation and summer in general all right my next Hermé bag is a small gift for my mother-in-law because her birthday is approaching and 
I'm not gonna open it up because it's already wrapped up as a gift but I do have a video of me actually purchasing the scarf in the store I was looking at so many different scarves and its patterns and its material and just trying to pick the right one for her so this is basically the one um, with the big orange scarf with a really nice horse print horse made out of flowers print and my mother-in-law really likes flowers um, and horse is something so signature to Hermé and also Mongolians in general so it's big enough for her to actually wear it as a huge scarf or even like a small shirt like a chest wrap so I think it would be really beautiful and versatile for her as a uh, birthday gift so yeah <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the last bag, which is a baby clothes for Leia. I love um, baby shopping, especially me and my husband. My husband actually loves it way more. He would be like jumping everywhere uh, in the store and be like, let's get this. Oh, this is cute. Let's get this. Whereas I'm like, okay, sure. And I'm just like picking sizes for him, but we both love it in different ways. Anyway, so we went um, baby shopping for Leia because uh, Leia needs some bigger clothes. Most of her clothes are getting small. And yeah, we got this cute like uh, Minnie Mouse tank shirt 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 tank shirt i think um it's really cute uh, it's a look mini mini with her with her iphone and her ice cream cute Ooh, look at this one i love the color of this because it's like a neutral uh, pink and purple kind of fading with each other so this top goes with this silky leggings oh how cute how cute. I would have loved if Leia like wore them and showed it to you guys, but she hates, you know, dressing up and it just it's just so um let's just say we have a hard time for her getting dressed and for us to be filming her. So I'm just gonna show you guys her outfits. So these two goes together. La la la. Pajamas, pajamas. <laughs> so we got her some pajamas, PJs. I think pajamas are a must for babies as well as adults. I love pajamas. So this one's got a really nice soft um, cotton feel and it's a two piece and it's from Winnie Pooh. We also got her a cute Winnie Pooh shirt. I love to dress up Leia in like different colors and not just pink. I kind of hate how like whenever it comes to like the girl section, it's mostly like feminine colors like pink, red, you know, flowery, like dressy and all of that. I like to dress up Leia in neutral colors and gender neutral colors as well. So I think this goes really well with that. And then we also got her this like one, one size, one C, I guess cute for the summertime with a cute cat and we got her her first Nike shirt it says just do it so yeah it's a purple one okay the last purchase we got for Leia is um, this really fancy dress it's like a cloudy skyish baby blue it's like so light it's like so light but it's so fancy too I think this would be the perfect like summer fancy dress for her um, the top material is made out of this like see-through garment and then the bottom material has like a couple of different layers and like each layer is just so thin and the inside is like a nice cotton and then look the ends got these like sprinkles that makes it like shiny and a little fun and then this bag this dress has a little bag that comes along with it and the bag is this cute little cloud with pearls on the bottom how cute right so this is a set I think <laughs> this is gonna be really cute for like birthdays or like you know fun parties and all that yeah so cute all right so these were the things i got on my last shopping i hope you guys got some inspiration on what to get yourself or gift to somebody you love and yeah i'll see you on my next vlog thanks for watching guys bye